Come down a little. Bricks in perspective. You could just make it flat, but it's more interesting to leave stuff there. Even if it's not anything you're planning on, uh, or people will read this and assume that's a certain type of brick or concrete or whatever. They'll, they'll finish it in their own lines, if that makes sense. Car here with his lights on. Grill. The cabin on the inside. It's just sloppiness, but it's all in perspective and done just kind of carefully. Uh, I think it's sort of um, mistakenly. It looks it looks easier than it actually is. Actually, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Deceptively. <laughs> Thank you. Deceptively simple. That's why you're around, man. <laughs> when you do. Um background scenes, do you um, take photos and draw from them? As much as I can, if I have the time, yeah. There's a bullshit fence in the way, I don't know. That's good to be. Then you've got the crates. It's just, again, organized slop. Cool. It doesn't have to be anything be anything. It's just theory that you're working with, you know. Um, one of these is a little darker. How messy do your hands get while you're working? Pretty messy. The, the shitty thing is when you feel coldness on your palm and you're like, oh no, I know I'm smooth, I'm destroying something. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually like a face. Oh. It's always something, it's never, oh, that'll be easy to fix. It's like when you drop your eraser, it never goes straight down and is waiting for you, it like runs off underneath the radiator. <laughs> you come in, your ass is hanging out. Like, what are you doing? I'm trying to find my eraser. <laughs> Um, sometimes I will go a little washy on uh, black and white interiors, even though I know it's not like this. This goes from almost black to almost white. I know when that scans in, it's going to get a little weird, textury, gritty, and grainy. But that's a shape that no one really cares about, so I'm open to leaving that just how it is. We dress it up with just some bullshit texture and just seeing how it looks in black and white. You know, I mean. This is essentially what Topi does. Yeah. He just does it with such scribble. Yeah. yeah. He's got enough education where he can just do that. And he's created this system for himself. I'm gonna do a fire escape now. Fire how escape. How many fire escapes do you think you've drawn? A ton. I love fire escapes. <laughs> <laughs> cool thing about fire escapes is it adds another dimensionality to your work, because you're looking at this and like, that's cool. Oh man, I could go in this door maybe and stand on there and like, oh fuck, there's a ladder, that'd be awesome to hang out on, you know? It's just these little, little storytelling moments, the reader's like, oh that'd be great, I wish I had coffee up there. That is how I imagine every reader talking. <laughs> I love oh, holy shit, the fire is <laughs> I can't imagine why I don't make more comic book friends. <laughs> Bullshit telephone poles in the background. Sounds like a lot of your work is bullshit. It is. <laughs> My goal is to make everybody lose respect for me. <laughs> so I never have to come back. <laughs> Sometimes with this stuff, it's easy to go get crazy and just keep going in the background. 
and adding and adding, the, the storytelling uh, gene of yours should kick in and say, well, this is what's important, so the further we get away from that, let's just keep it simple, you know? That way you will maintain focus on the fine details and not kill yourself. Or your camera focus, kind of. Exactly. I know something you're doing, um, your, uh, your sense of lighting seems to naturally just come. That's just so practice. You just, uh, I'll mess up a lot, too. Um, I tend to follow the 70-30 uh, rule. Oh, okay. Um, you guys know what that rule is? No. You've got to lay out, let's just say this is a piece of art, right? If that is the only thing in it, you've got mostly white, most with a tiny bit of black. Your eye is going to go to what stands out. Your eye is going to go here. If I did this and left, you know, made everything black but left the white square, same thing. It doesn't matter that you're using black and white. Your eye is drawn to what is different, what is going to draw your attention. If you have an, uh, a composition that's exactly half black white, I don't know if I'm focusing on the black part or the white part. However, if I alter it just slightly and make it mostly black, I've created focus with this white thing. 70-30 uh, rule, 75-25, whatever. Your page should be mostly black or mostly white. Or your panel should be mostly black, mostly white. Or after it's colored, because colors do carry black and white within them, you should either be directing the eye with white or with black or both. But you don't want to have equal amounts. This right now is probably, I know there's a lot of black, but I'm going to say there's still 50% white there. So in order to create focus, I'm probably going to keep adding black because I want that white square, that's essentially that. That's where I'm drawing you. Like I want you to know that there are backgrounds, but I'm not too hung up about it um, to the degree that I need to draw everything. You know what I mean? Let little white breaks and lines happen. Call them windows, whatever. People who look at cities at night, they don't really know what they're looking at for a lot of the, for the most part. So take advantage. Give yourself a break. Don't worry about every building back there. You know, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so... Hopefully, when people look at the scene, they'll come in here and they'll get, okay, city, they're not even going to see a car, but that's okay, because I like that you know that's a car, but maybe maybe they'll see it. Come in this way, we know we're getting some depth here, so that's helpful, but this still remains the focus. They definitely go past this stuff to come here, but this has to be uh, the most important part. And I also noticed, like, this fence is kind of drawing attention to this door. The fact that this door is outlined with... Um, 50% gray, essentially, that's what this shape is. It's probably 50% gray. That helps accentuate that stark white door right there as well. Everything else here, I mean, yeah, there's white here and here, but there's only one place where there's really pure white. This is 100% white. That's white too, but I call that like 10% white. This is 100% black. This is 80% black. Even if, uh, even within, if I threshold this, made everything either black or white, because there is texture there. These bricks are not going to be 100% black. They're going to be like 80% black. And you're going to know. I mean, these are all the little tricks that I use to, to help add depth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a lot of things at once here. I hope I'm not losing anybody. Anyway. I mean, this stuff here, you don't even need to do at this point. But sometimes after my day, I'll just like to go in and just, I don't know, fuck around. <laughs> 